I want your cooperation in the investment of infrastructure in my department. Our internal returns, our internal rate of return is very good. We can assure you about the income and there is a huge potential for development of infrastructure in the country. Today India is the fastest growing economy and our number is fifth economy in the world. Today for the development, the infrastructure is very important and that is the reason that our government under the leadership of Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji has given highest priority for development of infrastructure in the country. We are already in the process of constructing more than 100 airports already completed. There are many airports are in the process. We are developing waterways, uh, electric highways now we are planning to develop, highways. At the same time, we are developing just like water grid, we want to develop road grid, national highway grid. Presently in the country, we have 65 lakh kilometer of road length. We are the second highest in the world. And today out of 65 lakh kilometer, we have 1 lakh 47 thousand kilometer as a national highway. When I taken charge as a minister, it was 3 kilometer per day. Now it is average 40 kilometer per day. We have 5 world record now with us. Our contractors, our investors, our engineers and officers, they prove their capability and today our road construction is well recognized in the world. We are already in the process of construction of 75 tunnels out cost of 2,50,000 crore. We are making express highways, 27 express highways, axis control. These are the new green express highways. For example, I am giving the example from Mumbai to Bangalore. We are now going to plan a big express highway, green highway. After Mumbai Pune Express Highway, before coming to Pune, the highway starts from the ring road of Pune and going to Bangalore. It will be 5 hours journey from Mumbai to Bangalore and 3 and half hour journey from 3, three and half hour to 4 hour journey from Pune to Bangalore. At the same time, at the end of this year, we will have the highway like Mumbai to Dehradun, to, uh, Delhi to Dehradun 2 hours. Delhi to Haridwar 2 hours, Delhi to Jaipur 2 hours, Delhi to Chandigarh 2 and a half hours, Delhi to Amritsar in 4 hours, Delhi to Srinagar 8 hours, Delhi to Katra 6 hours, Delhi to Mumbai 12 hours and Chennai to Bangalore with 2 hours and Lucknow to Kanpur with half hour. We are now developing lot of big highways starting from uh, Gorakhpur to Siliguri then uh, Varanasi to Calcutta, lot of new highway we are making that are green express highways. The huge potential is there and already we are raising funds from the capital market. Now first of all I am telling you that our all projects are economically viable. Presently our toll income coming to 40,000 crore and at the end of 24, end of 24 it will come up to 1,40,000 crore. So now my suggestion is investment in the road construction is risk free. Now we have a lot of model that is BOT, then a hybrid annuity, the PPP models, then we are now have this uh, Invit model and 31st September I am coming to Mumbai in stock exchange, Mumbai stock exchange and where we are going to launch our uh, Invit projects. Where my idea is to take the investment from the small people. They can even invest, they can invest 10,000 rupees or lakh rupees. And uh, we will give them returns yearly up to 8%. And even we are ready to give them returns monthly. So there is a lot of potential that the common people, the poor people, the salary and people can invest in infrastructure. So at the same time we are making logistic parks of 2 lakh crores. Already there is also economic viability. Now the idea is we are now planning before making the highway, we will acquire the land with the cooperation of joint venture with the private sector investors and we will make logistic parks, smart cities there. Now this can be possible. So there are a lot of opportunity for investment. 
even there are some state highways they have the traffic density is good there uh, our idea is now we are planning to think on that line that we will construct that highway with four lane or six lane and the, for 25 years we will take that highway from the state government we will collect the toll and within 12 to 13 years we will get back the money with in uh, interest and land acquisition cost then after 25 years we will return that <coughs> project to the state government at the same time we are now starting working on public transport particularly in our country we have 150000 buses there is a huge potential for development of public transport in the country i am giving you the example of mumbai just few days before i got opportunity to opportunity to launch double decker bus in mumbai now we have received the tender for electric bus the non ac bus it comes to 39 rupees per kilometer for ac bus it was 41 rupees per kilometer and for even in the diesel bus in mumbai it is taking 115 rupees per kilometer so there is a good economic viability we can reduce the rate by 25% and just like europe we can construct we can make uh, air conditioned luxury buses for the tourist now presently in the country we have 150000 buses but i am confident that by this way we will have the potential of 10 lakh buses there is a huge potential in public transport we are thinking of trolley bus that is on electric cable all european countries the system have we are also planning in nagpur we are making broad gauge metro metro on broad gauge the presently cost of the metro is a uh, 350 crore rupees per kilometer but my metro which i am going to plan in nagpur which is sanctioned by the railway ministry the cost is coming 2 crore rupees per kilometer we are making this broad gauge metro by using the same broad gauge of the railway from nagpur to amravati nagpur to chandrapur nagpur to varsa nagpur to gondia nagpur to chinwada nagpur to baitul nagpur to ramtek and this 900 kilometer using the railway track broad gauge track and the metro will be from the private sector just like the for this uh, tourist uh, buses are there travels are there on the same manner we are purchasing metro of eight rolling stock it comes cost of 30 crore there will be five economic class one business class and two for specially for the material like pre uh, milk vegetables pharmaceuticals for that for the transport so project is economically viable so my suggestion is because of population growth we have a lot of potential available in the transport sector for public transport that can be a good opportunity for the investment at the same time we are making lot of bus port like airport all the lands are in the prime places available in the cities just like you understand that mumbai we have got bombay central it's a prime land so in the country in the big city there is a prime land and our plan is to develop bus port there it is also economically viable we can make restaurant lodge and uh, different type of services we can give to them and by which that proposals are economically viable at the same time we have now got the permission and started the scheme of parvatmala that is we are making rope way cable car funicular rail and we have already received 260 proposals even we are planning for ladakh leh kashmir uttarakhand himachal arunachal where the hill area is there we are making lot of rope ways cable car and funicular rail there is also economic potential is available we can make restaurants parking places and there will will get a revenue from that and that is also to be available my suggestion is even for parking plaza we are making lot of parking plaza there is also the economic viability is there the road construction then tunnel then then we are making big bridges we are making big green express highways industrial corridors and even in parmatmala making rope way cable car funicular rail logistic parks bus ports these are all economically viable project my suggestion to all of you that the internal rate of return in the project is very good even we can make the cooperation with the banks and we can make the uh, tripartite agreement between the three concerning parties one is bank who is investor or investor then contractor and the government and in the extra account will put up the revenue so they will get their money back every day if they want they can take it 
monthly they want they can take it this type of models are there and there is a huge potential for that now our automobile sector which i am in charge for that we have successfully started electric bus now there is also a potential for lng trucks here you can finance the lng truck the saving is 50% as compared with the diesel we are planning for electric truck electric tractor even we are diverting to our ethanol methanol biodiesel bio lng bio cng electric and green hydrogen green hydrogen is the future presently we are importing the fossil fuel of 17 lakh crores by hydrogen mission our dream is to make green hydrogen as a energy and we can export the energy to the world and it can be possible i have got hydrogen car in delhi i am running that a very very comfortable car and it is really a good its name is mirai it's from toyota name as future bhavishya the other car which is available or uh, already is with me is, uh, is a with flex engine from toyota that is also on bioethanol and this bioethanol is from for is from the agriculture actually we are giving permission to make ethanol from sugar cane juice uh, molasses bav molasses c molasses corn and food grain we are making ethanol from bamboo and successfully we have started the plant in panipat making ethanol from rice straw and that is to be 1 lakh liter of ethanol and 150 ton per day bio bitumen from rice straw popularly known as parali there is a huge economic viability is available in assam we have already started the project making ethanol from bamboo so the basic idea is the dream of our prime minister to make indian economy as atmanirbhar bharat and 5 trillion dollar economy for that reason we need to reduce our import and increase our export actually our gdp growth 12 to 13% is coming from the agriculture 22 to 24% from the manufacturing sector and uh, uh, 52 to 54% from the service sector in agriculture we need to increase the growth rate so by biofuel we can increase the growth rate gdp growth rate in agriculture and rural india by 6% i am really confident that this is a time the economic viability is there because it is import substitute cost effective pollution free and indigenous our atovel industry size is 7.5 lakh crores this is the industry which is going which is already given maximum employment potential in the country this is the industry which is giving maximum gst to the state government and central government and now my planning is to make this industry of 15 lakh crore before within 5 years so all reputed brands now present in india they out already all our two wheeler industry bajaj tvs and hero they are exporting 50% of their production so the day will come within 5 years all reputed brand in the world which are present in india they will start their export from india and we will make this industry of 15 lakh crore so my suggestion is we are the fastest growing economy we have got the availability of young talented engineering manpower government is very supportive for development and the investment returns are very good as compared with the returns available in the dollars in the world it is really the interest rate is 2% 3% but india the interest rate is very high the only million dollar problem is with me that is dollar rupees fluctuation where you people can find out the way out and how we can get the investment from the abroad in the project where the internal rate of return is good our invit model all models are very good presently don't misunderstood me but we don't need any investment people are with us banks are ready to invest with us we are getting whatever the money we need every time people are there and there is a waiting list for investment in my department we don't have any problem so my suggestion is even we can make some innovative models just like making the state highway we can make the take the road for 24 years 25 years and we can make the four lane roads and we will get the toll daily and we can make the tri party agreement we will make the extra account and we will assure you to get your money every day monthly three monthly there is no problem no risk is there so my suggestion is for the infrastructure in ppp mode you can invest the money even i can tell you a success story in solid waste management and liquid waste management in mathura when i was water resources minister we have started the ppp project in mathura 
where uh, 80 MLD sludge of Mathura is now, it is a Triveni engineering company is the investor. And Indian oil is purchasing that clean water and giving 20 crore rupees per year. And the project is in hybrid annuity. The 40% invested given by the government and the other part is investment from Triveni Engineering and a successful project is going on. So my suggestion is you can plan to think about investment in solid waste management, liquid waste management. You can make organic waste, we will make green hydrogen and from the sewage water making it clean and we will get the clean water. And for segregation of waste, we need solar rooftop. And 70% uh, of the cost in green hydrogen is power. And uh, uh, now the uh, this technology is easily available. Electrolyzer, we are the highest manufacturer in the world of electrolyzer. We are exporting electrolyzer to USA. So cost of the electrolyzer is 1 crore 20 lakhs. And we can make hydrogen from that. And a generator on 100% bioethanol, that cost of ethanol is 60 rupees. We can reduce the cost on diesel and my dream is to make green hydrogen with one dollar per kg. It can go take to car up to 400 kilometers. So that is the idea is the future and we can even export energy to the world. So these are the new fields where 100% opportunity for investment is available. Even you can invest it in the e-highway, electric highway, where we are now first taking project from Delhi to Jaipur as the electric cable. And we can take electric truck, electric buses, electric double-decker buses, and you understand what is the difference between petrol diesel cost and electric. It is 10% of the petrol diesel cost, the electricity is available. India is making now a lot of in our power basket. 40% of the electricity is solar power. And the rate is coming to 2 rupees 40 pesos per unit. So my suggestion is that the innovation, entrepreneurship, science, technology, research, skill, and successful practices. We name it as knowledge and conversion of knowledge into wealth is the future and that is the strength for India. And the other important philosophy is the waste to wealth. No person is waste, no material is waste. You can convert waste into wealth and that is to be a technology is available. The highest availability of young talented engineering manpower in India. The skilled manpower is in India. Availability of raw material is there. Availability of power is there. I feel that the export potential is there and the whole world is keenly interested to deal with India. As compared with the other country, people are giving priority to deal with India. In a situation, people like you, if you can invest in the projects, the economic viability is there, a golden opportunity is there. I am really happy. I am coming at uh, 31st September in Mumbai Stock Exchange and 100% I need your cooperation. Now my idea is to take the investment from the small people for construction of big highways in the country. I am really happy to interact with you. Once again, I am giving my thanks to all of you. Thank you very much. Namaskar.